this use case, what I'm going to do is take data from a website. In my case, I have this uh, table in uh, this format. And what I'm going to do is process it further in an Excel, add a pivot table, add a chart, and then send it to myself. In this case, what I'm going to do is start in Studio X in, uh, and try and add a use Excel file. To start with, I don't have an Excel file. So what I'm going to do is uh, make sure that the create if not exist setting is on to create it at runtime. I want to name it uh, sales opportunities and say February. All right, this file does not exist now, so it will create it once we run it. Because I want to keep a structure in place, what I'm going to do is set a template file that will follow the same structure as my file and make sure that this is how the configuration is kept. To extract the data from the, um, from the website, what I'm going to do is, before we start, add a table extraction follow the table extraction wizard. So I'm going to add a new column and I'm going to select the first column in here and extract all of the columns from the table. And um, I can also change it because in this case, for example, I don't want the column name. I just want ID and I can also configure it further and say this is a number. All right, so I'm just gonna quickly click save and close. What this will do is extract the data in uh, a tabular form. I also need to make sure that I extract it as a data table. So I'm gonna clear it, click on create variable and this gives it a name that I can remember it further. I don't need to worry about other settings. So I'm just gonna quickly click okay. So now we have the table to append to my Excel. So in this case, I'm just going to make sure the order of the activities is correct. And in uh, my Excel table, I'm just going to look for the right activity. In this case, because I'm writing a data table, I'm going to search for the data table and it's going to suggest write data table to Excel. So I'm interested in writing the data table extracted. Uh, so in this case, I'm just going to go and get the table from here and the destination will be the one that I wanted. Make sure that I insert a pivot table. So for this operation, I need to create the pivot table. And in this case, I already know the source. It will be the sales opportunity table that I added earlier. And uh, the new table name, the pivot table name, which will be, I'm interested in actually the number of opportunities per region. So quantity. So this will be my table name. And the destination, I don't have other destinations right now, but I can give it a custom input. And I will say the sheet and give it a new sheet. This will make sure that I'm inserting the data into a different sheet. Okay, so I've configured the pivot table. All it's missing are the fields. In this case, I'm interested in the region as a row. And in this case, I already have the structure that I was interested in. So as you may see, it follows the same sort of format and the table headers will be equivalent. I have the country and I also have, um, and from here, I'm going to select the quantity and I'm interested in it being a value and I want to sum it all up, but I could also do the average. In this case, I just want to see all the quantities. So I'm gonna go into Excel chart and add in an insert chart activity. So I can customize the chart further and add a, a pie chart. I could save the chart for further use, but in this case, all I need to do 
is um, send an email to myself using this Excel file. I'm going to add a use desktop app and um, add a send email activity. In this case, I'm going to configure it on my account and use my selected account for the sender. And then in the subject, I'm going to use some, um, some settings for it. So this is sales opportunity, February, and add some content. Okay, um, I also want to add an attachment. And in this case, I'm gonna link my file from earlier. So it's simply going to be the sales opportunity February. So I'm gonna go into the text editor here and copy the name. All right, so I have all of the information ready and let's see this in action. I'm gonna click run so I can find the newly created Excel file over here. Currently opening it with the pivot table and the chart. And if I click and go into my emails, I should be able to see it there. All right, so this is my email that has been saved as a draft. And this is my attached file that I, I just created now.